When you start your car, it activates a pump that's usually located inside the gas tank. This electrical system pushes the gas out of the tank and into injectors which aerate the gas and deliver it to the engine cylinders. Without a pump to get the fuel flowing, your car would be going nowhere fast. You might think that submerging an electric pump in gasoline would be a risky thing, but liquid fuel can't explode, so it's actually a very safe place to be. Production begins with the pumping mechanism. A gear and several rollers are sandwiched between two metal plates. The rollers will rotate to pull fuel into the pump before pushing it out of the tank. Each roller assembly is tested by spinning it from the bottom. A robot then pops it out and moves it to the next station. Here, the electric motor is attached to the roller pumping mechanism. Then, it gets a magnetic sleeve and a plastic cap. All the parts that make up the pumping mechanism have now been assembled. Next comes an end cap with a filter made of metal mesh. A metal sleeve slides over the pump unit and the whole thing is press fit together. Inside this chamber, large magnets generate a very strong force field. This causes the metal sleeve to collapse, crimping at one end so that it holds everything together. Next, retainer rings go into slots in the fuel pump cap. A metal bracket goes over the pump. It steadies the assembly and serves as a guide as workers install the brushes and coils which will supply electricity to the fuel pump motor. A brass terminal slides onto the end of each coil and brush assembly to facilitate the electrical connection. Then, the terminals are attached to the assembly. When the job is done, a robot removes the bracket. They've built this fuel pump from the inside out, and now the actual workings are complete. Inspectors hook each pump up to a power source and run fluid through them to test the pumping action. Then they check for proper flow and pressure. If the pump passes inspection, a robot sends it down the assembly line, where a tubing system is being assembled to carry the gasoline to the engine. The joints are sealed with a brazing paste. Then it's into a gas oven where the paste hardens and fuses to the tubing. Workers remove the tubing from the oven and brush off any unwanted bits of metal and hardened paste. The ends of the apparatus are capped to keep them from collecting dirt and debris during shipping. Rubber tubing is attached to the pump and secured with metal clamps. Then, the rubber tubing is clamped to the metal tubing system. Workers wire the fuel pump, then hook up a connector which will attach to the engine's wiring. This is the sending unit. It's a float with a metal arm that's attached to an electronic sensor. The sensor sends information about fuel levels to the fuel gauge on the dashboard. A computerized system checks the sending unit's accuracy as the sensor is moved up and down. Once everything checks out, it's time to fill the tank and hit the road. 